Dear students, today I will discuss some topic from your first chapter that is some basic concept of chemistry. Here I will discuss first atomic mass, molecular mass and formula mass. What is atomic mass? Atomic mass is the mass of an atom. But you know atom is so small so we do not directly calculate the atomic mass. We can calculate the atomic bar mass by taking the help of a scale and the name of the scale is AMU scale. What is the name of the scale? The name of the scale is AMU scale. What is the full form of AMU? That is atomic mass unit. Okay. So how can you calculate the atomic mass by taking the help of AMU? For that purpose, we take a stable isotope of carbon that is C12 isotope. How can you calculate? An atom, how many times is heavier than 1 12th mass of a C12 isotope? By this way, we can calculate atomic mass. For example, if we take magnesium, you know magnesium has atomic number, atomic mass 24. You either write AMU or you can write U also. Now, this AMU is changed into U. This U is called unified mass. So, in case of magnesium, we can write atomic mass of magnesium is 24U. That means one atom of magnesium is 24 times heavier than one twelfth mass of a C12 atom. Okay, so by this way, we can calculate the atomic mass of magnesium, sodium, etc. Okay, now the uh, some element you know have different uh, so many number of isotopes. For this type of element, we can calculate average atomic mass. So, where we calculate average atomic mass? The atom which has several isotopes. For this type of atom, we calculate average atomic mass. Like carbon, nitrogen, oxygen, chlorine. For there, we calculate average atomic mass. How can we calculate? So, here I explain it by taking an example. For example, you know carbon has... 3 isotope that is C12, C13 and C14. These are isotopes of carbon. Their percentage of abundance in earth, C12 isotopes having abundance 98%, C13 has 1%, 1.009 and C14 has 2 into 10 to the power minus 10%. Okay, and you know their relative atomic mass. For C12 relative atomic mass is 12. For C13 relative atomic mass is 13. For C14 atomic relative atomic mass is 14. Now for this type of element, we calculate average atomic mass. How can you calculate? We simply multiply their relative atomic mass with their abundance. For 12 isotope, I write it 12 into 98. For 13, I write 13 into 1.009. For 14, it is 14 into 2 into 10 to the power minus 10. Now, add this 3 and divide this by the whole percentage of abundance. You know what percentage of abundance should be 100? So, from there, we get this one that is 12 u so what will be the average atomic mass of carbon that is 12 okay next i explain molecular mass what is molecular mass like atom molecule is also small so we do not directly calculate their molecular mass by taking the help of amu scale we also calculate the molecular mass of molecule okay for example, if I take water molecule, what will be the molecular mass of water? That is 18 U. That means one molecule of water is 18 times heavier than one twelfth mass of a C12 isotope of atom. Okay. So, by this way, we calculate molecular mass also. Next one is formula mass. What is formula mass? You know, some ionic compound like NaCl, sodium chloride, KCl, potassium chloride. For this type of ionic compound, we calculate formula mass. Why? Because this type of compound, for this type of compound, we cannot get any discrete molecule, any single molecule because of their structure. What type of structure of sodium chloride has? 
to know sodium chloride ha has this type of structure here 1 Na plus is surrounded by 6 Cl minus and 1 Cl minus is surrounded by 6 Na plus. 1 Cl minus is surrounded by 6 Na plus. For this, so for this type of structure, we cannot get any discrete molecule. So, what can we do for this type of compound? We just write their formula. What will be the formula of sodium chloride? That is NaCl. So, first I write their formula and then add their atomic mass. You know, atomic mass of sodium is 23 and atomic mass of Cl is 35.5. So, we just place their atomic mass and add and we get their formula mass. What will be the unit? Same unit, 58.5 unified mass. Okay. Next, I explain mole. Okay. Next, I explain an important topic that is mole. First, I relate this mole with numbers. First, I relate this mole with numbers. Mole is that that means how many number of atoms or ions or molecules are present in the compound. Okay, in one mole, how many number of atoms? For in case of atom, we consider atom. In case of molecule, we consider molecule. In case of ions, we consider ions. So, how many number of atoms or molecules or ions present in a mole? That is to be given by Avogadro number. Okay, so Avogadro number, the, it is represented by giving Na. Na means its value is 06.022 into 10 to the power 23. So, 1 mole of, if I explain it by taking an example, so when I write 1 mole of oxygen atom, here I can write that is 6.022 into 10 to the power 23 number of oxygen atoms. Okay, when I write 1 mole of oxygen molecules, then I write the same number that is 6.022 into 10 to the power 23 number of, here it will be oxygen molecules. When I take consideration like 1 mole of oxygen ions, then I write 6.022 into 10 to the power 23 number of oxygen ions. Okay, so only the variety that is atom molecule ions this varieties are changed but the number will be same so here i give the relation between mole and numbers okay now i explain molar mass what is molar mass the mass of one molar atom or molecule so this is called molar mass okay mass of one molar atoms or one molar molecule that is called molar mass Okay, and the unit will be, so when I write 1 mole of oxygen molecule, then I write 32 gram per mole. Okay, so when I write molar mass, that you please note the unit, that is when I write molar mass, unit will be gram per mole. That means within 32 gram, 1 mole of oxygen molecules are present. That means Avogadro number of oxygen are present. Okay, so this is the relation between mole and numbers. Next, I explain the relation between mole and volume. What is this? That is mole and volume. What is the relation? It is that 1 mole of any gas at STP. 1 mole of any gas at STP having volume either you can write 22.4 liter or you can write 22.7 liter. Why this difference? You know STP means standard temperature and pressure. STP means standard temperature and pressure. So when you take temperature is 273.15 Kelvin and pressure is 1 atmosphere then you get this value that is 22.4 liter. But when you take temperature is 273.15 Kelvin and pressure is 1 bar, then the value will be 22.7 liter. So this is the relation between mole and volume. So here I can say that 1 mole of oxygen molecule at STP having volume 22.4 liter. Similarly, for case of another gas like chlorine, I also say that one mole of chlorine molecule at 
NTP has volume 22.4 liter then it is in gaseous state okay so this is the relation between mole and volume another way where we calculate the mole also how can we calculate the formula is that mole equals to supplied mass by molar mass what is this mole equals to supplied mass by molar mass for example if i take 64 gram of oxygen and the question is how much mole of oxygen is present within 64 gram how much mole of oxygen is present in 64 gram how can we calculate we simply write here supplied mass is 64 so in place of supplied mass i just write the value 64 and in case of molar mass you know oxygen is a molecule and when i write molar mass what is the molecular mass of oxygen that is 32 u but when i write molar mass i have to write the unit also that is 30, uh, 32 gram per mole so here i just put the value 32 gram per mole so you will get the answer is 2 mole that means within 64 gram of oxygen 2 moles of oxygen atom oxygen molecules are present okay thank you